Chef Troy Tomlinson is back in the Living Well Kitchen with another great recipe. But before we get started, I will tell you, I celebrated my birthday last week and I was at the Peoria Biagis and Chef Stefan Hodges came out to say yeah. hello. And he presented us with this, is it bombolini? Bombolone. Bombolone, yeah. which is like a bread pudding that's Fried. Deep fried. And served with ice cream. It was so good. It's like a donut. It was so good. Yes. We all enjoyed it. Yes, that's one of our most popular desserts. I and, can see and, why. And the bread pudding by itself before it's fried is also really, really good. Can't so, go wrong with bread pudding in my book. <laughs> and, and, no, you can't. What's on the menu today? So we're going to make a dish today called raviolo a la como. And it's a dish that we're going to feature in January at the restaurant. Um, it's a cheese filled, large cheese filled ravioli and we're just going to make a real simple little cream sauce mm -hmm. to go with it and the nice thing about raviolis is you can keep them in your freezer and they're easy to do, they're easy to cook. Now I notice you're pronouncing it both raviolo and ravioli, are they interchangeable? Interchangeable Got size. It. Okay. Everybody has cream. I do. In their in their refrigerator, everybody has some Parmesan cheese. Yep. And everything in there, all the the butter fat and the cream and the cheese, it's going to cause that to get really thick, real quick. We're going to turn that down. We're going to add some Black Forest ham. Most everybody probably has some it's easy ham. Easy to get at the very or, least. Or easy to stop at the <laughs> store and get. Now we're just going to turn our heat off. And we're going to push it to the side here. And we're going to add some chopped parsley. Or rosemary, or sage, or thyme would be really good. I think that's the difficult part when you're cooking at home. It's like, I get that I'm supposed to have cream and, and parmesan together, but it's yes. the seasonings that, that make it zing. It's, it, you know, it's such a rich dish that it, that little brightness of parsley, mm -hmm. just it really makes a difference. We're going to take a little bit of our pasta water here. And then we're going to add our, our raviolis to those. I'm only going to do half of them. I made enough for everybody, but yes, the, recipe only, the, the recipe <laughs> only calls for half. Gotcha. And then we're just going to move it back to our hot spot on the stove real quick. And we're just going to let that simmer together for about 15 seconds. Well, we will go ahead and let that simmer and thicken up for you, and we will take a quick break, come back, do some entertainment news, and I'll be right back to the kitchen for a taste test. Don't go away.